UHF light shield which is Arduino compatible even it is compatible with RDPi and RD32 plus all the board which are of the form factor Arduino no, you can use so on the top side there is UHF shield then for visual interaction there is a 0.91 inch OLED display which is 128 by 32 pixel and on the back side you will see there is buzzer for audio alert so we'll see the interfacing with RD pipe in the next section so right now we are on SP components shop site where you can see RD UHF shield for Arduino Uno so in this case there are two version so while buying you just need to select right version for your region and if you scroll down to the bottom side of the page so there you will find two links software github and hardware github hardware github link provide you design file of this particular board so which is helpful for packaging purpose as well as schematic reference and in the software github you will see getting started and coding related stuffs already now i have opened this link so what is recommended you can you just download this file as wall and let's walk through what is all there what is all available inside this link so here you get hardware overview and interfacing detail so as you know this rd uhf shield is compatible with rd pi rd32 and arduino uno plus compatible boards so when you connect this rd uhf shield with rd pi so what actual gpio pin consumes is listed here okay so uhf rx is connected to gp1 that is gpio1 of pico similarly other gpio pins and oled display of uhf shield is consumed at gpio20 and gpio21 okay so similarly when you interface it with rd32 you get this io pins consumed by the shield so this is very helpful and in case of Arduino, you can see so very helpful for coding purpose now this section deals with understanding how commands work like what command you need to send to UHF for particular operations for example you want hardware version like hardware, hardware detail info if you are interested so you need to send this command to UHF using your whatever controller you are using so for the demo we will see how pico will send this command and then it will receive response from UHF shield so this kind of response is, is available so just we need to filter and get this relevant data so here some code snips is shown uh, for Arduino like Arduino coding style so same way you can also check out in pico so here output so if you interface with arduino Uno or rd32 you can you get this kind of output response now this section is about library which is required when if you are interfacing it with arduino uno or maybe arduino uh, rd32 so what we have done we have just clubbed all the libraries file which are required for successful compilation into one zip and you can extract copy paste into this particular folder of Arduino so this section you will find demo codes will deal will check out how to use so this section now it is very important if you are interested to just stand alone you want to con configure your UHF so you can download this software and use any converter USB to USB to TTL converter and then connects RX and TX accordingly with UHF shield and you can use this software standalone to see all the configuration and setup so as per need plus we have also provided manual for detailed info of UHF which you can check out in the resource section as well as you can download from this so you can see various commands which are shown let me just show you little bit so you see what how to set baud rate then command instructions so you can see 
from where how how to read or get module information so it's a long file which you can walk through to modify code as per your need so now let's check i have already downloaded this complete github file so in this just get inside the example folder so demo codes are available now we want we are interested in this rdpy uhs sheet so just open now let's connect this shield is now connected and then connect micro usb cable so once you connect so now after selecting right com port and board okay already i have some code here so basic most important thing is that you just have to transfer this library files if not already there i will just show you how to transfer if it is already there it will ask you to replace otherwise it will transfer and make sure if you are first time then you make sure to upload both library files and then main code is already open here which you have to save as main.py into pico for stand alone execution or else you can run from here just click on this run you see hello now you just have to bring any uhf card so card detected okay so if you take it away it will stop as you can see and again if you bring closer card detected so this way you can try out and in the code section if you are interested to add more details so you just okay device is busy just first stop first stop and if you open this uhf so you see this already provided this command so what you can do you can create multiple commands and use that particular command if you are interested like hardware version you can run this command to get info of module single read and similarly there are numerous commands of uhf available in manual which you can try updating this code for your specific need okay so you can even interface this with your rd32 and even arduino uno okay so thank you